Kaka. Congratulations, you're through to the fourth round. Uh, that was a pretty tough match. You, you, the scoreline doesn't say, doesn't say it. Um, plus, playing a lefty is never easy. What are your thoughts on the match? Uh, yeah, today was a tough match. Bernardo hit the, oh, I can't say that word, but hit the ball really hard. Um, so I was really just trying to hang in there and take the ground when I could. Um, last season, she had a, like a long match streak, uh, so I knew she would be a tough player to be, um, but I'm happy to be through uh, to the second week. Now, you're absolutely incredible. You're 18, you're top 10 in the world, you're already Grand Slam finalist. But what I find even more impressive is your education is so important to you. You stand for so many important social issues. How do you balance that at such a young age and why is that so important to you? Uh, I think before anything, I'm a human before a tennis player, um, so I'm always going to advocate for human rights, and I feel like um, I feel like with the platform I have and the background that I came from and my the way I was raised, I was always taught the importance to speak up. Uh, so for me, that's something I take pride in, and I, I always will do it. Now, on a lighter note, and talking about the way you were raised, I have to talk about your TikTok. Your parents are now, they were stars, but they're now even bigger stars uh, because of your dancing video that went viral. Um, now, who is a bigger star? And are we going to see something like this more of in the future? Um, I would say my mom was the best dancer in the TikTok, but everybody was, I think it really went viral because of my dad, because he did so bad. <laughs> Like he was saying that people on the street was recognizing him from the TikTok. Uh, so, uh, and then he also asked me if he was getting a check from the video. And I was like, I don't think TikTok pays you. Um, so then I told my dad, uh, my dad told me that he's not gonna make any more videos since he's not getting paid for it. He said if he's gonna look a fool on the internet, he might as well get paid for it. <laughs> but I know I can get him on, I know I can get him on TikTok more. Uh, because uh, my dad is all fun and games, and uh, if it makes me happy and it makes you guys happy, I'm sure we can get him in a video again. <laughs> can we get dad in the video again? Okay. And we How about if we get you manager? Would that, would that, would that work? Yeah. Okay, all right. I don't know if Ollie would do it, but my coach would do it. Diego would totally do it. He already like thinks he can dance without any cameras, so. <laughs> um, one last question, I'll let you go and, and do your recovery. Um, you said that your parents get very nervous when they watch you, and when you're out there, you actually try not to look at them in the box. You do you know, throw a few come-ons and stuff, but you actually try not to look at them. How, how do you do that? Because that's very hard to look over to your player's box, but still try not to see your parents be that nervous. Um, sometimes if I'm like, you know, since I'm, like if I look over there, it's usually at my, my coach and, and sometimes at my dad, he usually um, does good. Um, it's really my mom. She usually, she's positive, but you know, sometimes she'll have like her head down. Like in my last match against Emma, I saw her on the screen, like, I don't know what she was doing, but she was, like this and she was going like this and I was like they, they need to stop showing her um, but I'm really not that nervous when I play um, but I told my mom like it's just a tennis match it's not like I'm out here going to like fighting for my life I'm just over here playing tennis so uh, yeah <laughs> like it's just a tennis match it's just a game and worst thing I, that can happen is I lose and I try again tell you what though this is what I used to think as a player but You'll learn this later on. It's actually a lot more stressful sitting there and watching you. So <laughs> Probably. I, I, I definitely agree. Um, when I'm watching matches, um, for example, that Berrettini-Murray tiebreak had me stressed. <laughs> um, so I had to actually, like, turn off the TV. <laughs> well, you know what? Your parents might be nervous, but I'm sure they're extremely proud of you because you are incredible. Thank you for what you do. We look forward to seeing you again. Ladies and gentlemen, Coco Goff. Well, you do have to remind yourself, don't you, that she's only 18. The way she speaks, quite amazing. Very old head on young shoulders. Um, and Coco Goff into know, round four smile. here at the Australian Open for the second time in her career. Thanks to uh, Elena Dokic there asking the questions.
Hi, I'm John McEnroe, and welcome to Eurosport Tennis on YouTube. Click here to subscribe to Eurosport Tennis.